Well, hello everybody and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new... Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has a monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Jordi Alba. He's got such searing pace, Peter. He gets to the byline in the blink of an eye. And from there, his crosses are a pinpoint and very hard to defend against. This opposition defence is going to have its work cut out, trying to keep him quiet. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. And it's Saul. And here's Morata. He can get that clear. Llorente. Rodri. And it's Adama Traore. He's had a look. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And so we have the first set piece of the game. He'll fancy himself from here. but not by that far. Saul certainly could have and should have made more of that. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Adama Traore. Hoists it forward. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Bednarek. Spain applying all the early pressure. Yeah, it's a good start, Peter, and they look hungry for goals, and they'll be aware of having to capitalise in such a good spell. Gets the better of his man. Timely intervention. Saul gets his foot in there. Saul looking to penetrate opposition lines. Zielinski. No goals as yet. He's got options out wide. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Chesney sends that a long way. Foot in. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Saul. It's a brilliant interception. It's gone for a throw in. Here it is now, surely. Has a go. That's a cracking strike, and it may have stung the palms of the keeper. Krakowiak plays it out to the flank. Ferran Torres. And here's Morata. Adama Traore. That's a good ball to find him. And a goal kick. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Camille Glick. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Going through. Brzezinski. 
Plenty waiting in the middle. It'll be a throw in. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. Kukovic with a fine tackle. Zielinski. And it's played forward. He's gone away. Martinez. Forward it goes. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Ferran, to Ferran Torres! Nick gets rid without sophistication. Now it's Saul. Ferran Torres. Jordi Alba. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Krasicki. Zielinski. Brzezicki. Brzezicki clips one through. Dangerous looking ball. And it's come to nothing. And we hit half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have twirled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Spain may probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half full and it should spur them on. Spain head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. Well, the action has already resumed here. Spain. Playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. And helps available out wide. Adama Traore. And the shot! It's in! And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck. And his immense talent, they just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Spain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Spain break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Looking for space out wide. Jordi Alba plays it forward. And it's Saul. And here's Morata it out to the wing, looking to break out here, Brzezicki drives it forward, De Gea gets good distance on it, that has put a stop to that, oh shooting chance, oh shame that was nicely worked, almost the perfect move, almost, the finish just wasn't quite at the same level, now it's Morata, Bednarek. Krasicki. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for... Has a hit! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that.
Ferran Torres. And here's Morata. And it's played forward. Good idea, just poorly executed. Rodri. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Spain can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Poland are definitely going about this the right way. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is shot at goal! It's in! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Just so calm under pressure. Morata really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied and got his effort away. Maintain control. So that's two now without reply. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Just brushed off the ball there. Rodri. Ferran Torres. Has a hit! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Thiago was not to be moved. And it's Pablo Sarabia. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. He came in hard, very hard. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Would have been some goal. He's the one player you want on the ball running at defences, and that's precisely why. The cover up with the clearance. Spain clearly seemed to have lost their passing accuracy. Oh, real shapes to shoot! And more, and more, and more. And surely that settles it. And you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Reply. This is becoming a stroll. Rosicki. Click. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Ferran Torres. Fabian Ruiz. Fabian Ruiz puts his foot on the gas. And he should have made it for. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. <laughs> a 
Krakowiak. A really good feat from him. Surely... And the shot! The whistle is gone and it is all over.